watu wanane zaidi wamefariki kutokana na ugonjwa wa COVID-19 hapa nchini. Idadi kubwa zaidi ya vifo kuwahi kuripotiwa kwa siku moja na kufikisha na moja Idadi ya watu waliofariki kutokana na ugonjwa huo hapa nchini. Waziri wa Afya Mtaikagwe alisema kati ya wale waliofariki ni daktari na kifo chake ndicho cha kwanza cha daktari kuripotiwa hapa nchini kutokana na ugonjwa huo wakati wa kipindi hicho maambukizi 473 mapya lipotiwa ambayo pia ni idadi kubwa zaidi kunakiliwa kwa siku moja na kufikisha 1948 jumla ya watu walioambukizwa na virusi hivyo hapa nchini haya mejiri huku wizara ya afya ikipendelea mpango wa kuwahudumia waathiriwa nyumbani kama mbinu mnafuu ya kuhudumia wagonjwa wa covid 19 pili timseo anakunjua darubini ya channel 1 We have today for the first time lost a medical doctor to the coronavirus disease. I'm deeply saddened by this particularly so because she contracted the virus while working to save lives of others who had contracted the virus. Waziri wa Afya Mutahi Kagwe aliomba kimya cha dakika moja kwa heshima ya shujaa aliyefariki kwenye vita dhidi ya janga la virusi vya corona kifo cha Dorin Adisa Lugaliki kilichotokea leo ndicho kifo cha kwanza cha daktari kuripotiwa hapa nchini It is always painful when life is lost but even more painful when it is a front line worker and more so when it comes on the line of duty Hata hivyo watu sabini na sita zaidi wameruhusiwa kuondoka hospitalini na kufikisha 2734 idadi ya watu waliopona kutokana na virusi vya corona hapa nchini Waziri Mutai Kagwe ambaye alikuwa katika kaunti ya Kilifi kutathmini kiwango cha kujiandaa kwa kaunti hiyo kukabiliana na maambukizi ya ugonjwa wa COVID-19 vile vile alisema Watu sabini na tatu zaidi wamedhibitishwa kuwa na virusi vya corona katika muda wa saa nne zilizopita na kufikisha 1448 jumla ya watu walioambukizwa virusi hivyo hapa nchini. Our numbers of those who have tested positive have continued to rise above what we recorded yesterday. Out of a sample of 6000 979 nearly 7000 a total of 473 people have tested positive to coronavirus disease kwa sasa tangu tupate kisa cha kwanza kaunti ya Kilifi imeandikisha visa na moja kwa jumla kutoka mwanzo mpaka hivi leo tunaposimama hapa kati ya visa vile sabini na moja watu sitini na moja wamepata fueni na wamerudi majumbani. Kaimu Mkurugenzi Mkuu wa Wizara ya Afya Patrick Amoth kwa upande wake alisisitiza kuhusu haja ya wakenya kuhimiza mpango wa kuwahudumia waadhiriwa nyumbani kutokana na gharama ya juu ya kuwahudumia wagonjwa wa COVID-19 jukumu ambalo limeachiwa serikali ya kitaifa. The cost of management of somebody who tests positive for COVID who is basically asymptomatic per day is about 21,300 Kenya shillings. If you have a mild form of the disease with mild symptoms, maybe a mild cough or just slight difficulty in breathing, then that puts you at 21,400 shillings per day. If you have a severe form of COVID, which you, in which case you require supplement, supplemental oxygen, that figure jumps to 51,000 shillings per day. And if you require ICU critical care support, including intubation and ventilator support the figure goes to 71000 per day idadi ya maambukizi mapya ugonjwa huo hapa nchini imekuwa ikiongezeka huku kaunti ya 42 kati ya kaunti zote 47 zikiwa zimeripoti visa katika maeneo yao kaunti ya Nairobi inaongoza kwa visa 1188 na kufuatiwa na Mombasa ambayo ina visa 1720 vya maambukizi ya virusi vya corona purity museo Darubini.